there's a new study that recently came out that was conducted by researchers at Australian National University on climate change. And this story absolutely shook me to my core because it really puts things in perspective with regard to climate change and how we need to get our act together really quickly if we want to survive as a species because we're basically on the cusp of passing a threshold that could catalyze a runaway global warming effect, which I don't even have to tell you would be devastating. So according to Max Greenwood of The Hill, a new study out Monday warns of the possibility of out of control global warming if humans fail to band together to fight the worst effects of climate change. The analysis conducted by researchers at the Australian National University and the Stockholm Resilience Center, among other institutions, outlines the potential for a threshold that if crossed would lead to runaway warming patterns and the advent of a hothouse earth. If such a threshold is crossed, the study warns, global average temperatures could climb as much as 8 degrees Fahrenheit above current temperatures and sea levels could rise 30 to 200 feet. Crossing the threshold would lead to a much higher global average temperature than any interglacial in the past 1.2 million years and to sea levels significantly higher than at any time in the Holocene, the study says. Even if every country that signed on to the Paris Climate Agreement meets its obligations under the pact and limits the global temperature increase to 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, runaway global warming could still be a threat, the newspaper reports. The study says that mitigating that risk Risk would require collective global action, including a drastic transformation of social values and the pursuit of new technology. This is honestly like I, I don't know if I have the words to express just how depressing this really is. The thought of a runaway warming effect on the planet. I mean, how many species are already going to go extinct? due to climate change, but if there's a runaway effect where it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, I mean, what do we do? The thought of climate change catalyzing wars for water in the Middle East, in North Africa, it's so terrifying. We've gotten to this point as a society where we don't just put profits over people, but we put profits over people and the planet. We don't care. The oligarchs who are currently in power don't really have to care about the consequences of climate change because, you know, let's face it, they're, they're older, right? They've reached the ends of their lives and they're not going to see the consequences come to fruition in a way that will really affect them. Because, I mean, if you're not ignorant and you're paying attention, then you can see how climate change is already having an impact. We're already seeing the consequences, you know, we're, we're seeing extreme weather patterns, hotter averages every single year. But since, you know, it's there's no really extreme consequences since, you know, parts of Florida aren't underwater yet, they can kind of turn a blind eye to it and also if you're if you're really wealthy you're kind of shielded from the consequences of you know these types of catastrophes that normal americans otherwise have to deal with so i, I honestly i don't i don't know that americans or really humans can come together to fight off the threat of climate change i think there's going to be a point where as a species, we're no longer going to be able to just brush it aside. We're all going to have to come together. But my worry is when we all do come together, inevitably, I think, will that point be too late? And increasingly, the answer to that question is seemingly yes, it will be too late. So I've kind of been an advocate for not just tackling climate change mit mitigation, but adaptation as well. Because if we're not talking about adaptation, then we're not really having, or if we're not including adaptation in our discussions about climate change, then I don't think we're having a fully constructive conversation because consequences will result from climate change. We're already seeing it. So we need to equip ourselves with the knowledge and capacity to adapt to what will inevitably cause mass chaos across the world. But 
just nobody's priorities are in order. And also individuals who care about climate change, the, the working class, they're so bogged down with low wages and working longer hours that it's difficult for people to even muster the energy to support it. It just, it's all going downhill, right? That's kind of the sense that I got when I read this article. Shit's hitting the fan, everything's going downhill, and it looks as though the human species isn't going to be able to get its shit together. And look, we've there's been times when we've come together, when there was the hole in the ozone layer. We had the Montreal Protocol. Everyone came together. Now, part of that was because businesses decided to align their interests with that of individuals who are concerned, knowing that there would be regulation ultimately. But businesses nowadays, they're kind of not really willing to adapt quick enough. And furthermore, politicians who are beholden to the industries that pollute the most, well, what are they doing? They're not doing anything. They're still subsidizing big oil. We're not being honest with ourselves about the things that are increasing greenhouse gas emissions. And that includes factory farming. That includes a bevy of things that average Americans alone can't tackle, that we need government and world leaders to fight for us on. But it's just, I don't know. It's, um... It's really, it's a really scary time, right? You, this should be an exciting time for human beings since we're, we're seeing all these technological advances and whatnot. We all have basically all the information available at our fingertips with cell phones. But then we had this looming threat of climate change, which is just, it's utterly horrifying. And I like to try to end these videos you know, with an overall takeaway, but I don't have an overall takeaway. I don't have the right words to describe what needs to be done. I don't have any motivational speeches to give. I've got nothing. I don't have anything. I'm out of um, ideas when it comes to trying to figure out how the fuck human beings are going to get ourselves out of this mess. I have no clue. I'm not smart enough to come up with any types of solutions. I don't know. As the article states, it's going to require global collective action but when when that ultimately happens might be too late so i don't i don't know what to say this is just it's awful support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report